How Realistic Are Gun Video Games? by Jack Schultz and James Allen. We hypothesize that Call of Duty is going to be more realistic and that Halo is going to be less realistic. We will be using the games Call of Duty and Halo to compare them to real life to see how the motion compares. The areas that we will be testing are walking, running, climbing, jumping, swapping weapons, reloading, knifing, crawling, and diving. We captured in-game footage and then we went outside with our GoPro camera and our iPhone and recorded these actions in real life. First up is walking and in Call of Duty he looks like he, that he is nearly jogging compared to what we do in real life. In Call of Duty, the running is a lot like what we did in real life during our experiments. And surprisingly, even in Halo, the running was very similar to what we do in real life. In our experiments, we found that climbing in Call of Duty is significantly differing from what we found in real life. The jumping in Call of Duty seemed to be nearly the exact same as we did in real life. In Halo, the jumping is obviously not realistic at all. In Call of Duty, swapping weapons was a lot faster than swapping weapons in real life. In Call of Duty, the reloading was significantly unrealistic compared to real life. In Call of Duty, we found that the knifing was realistic. The crawling in Call of Duty is realistic. We didn't feel like dying trying that one, so for diving, we just kept it like this, and it was realistic. One last thing, we didn't even want to try respawning in real life, because we're pretty dang sure that doesn't happen. In conclusion, our hypothesis was correct, because Call of Duty was more realistic compared to Halo, which was less realistic, comparing both of these to real life.